Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. We're doing a series looking at the people God uses in the Bible, many of them unusual choices. Today we're going to think of Leah, who was unloved. Our key verse today is taken from Genesis 29 verse 32. It says, The Lord has seen my misery. Surely my husband will love me now. It's terrible to feel unloved or in second place, yet it's pretty common. We have all experienced some form of abandonment or neglect. A friend who rejects us for another. A parent who walks through the door and never comes back or continually praises your sibling while overlooking your achievements. A boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband or a wife who doesn't love you back. We know the heartache. We understand the wounds that are left behind. After a while, we can even start to believe that we are not worthy of that love, that we are undesirable, that we are a hindrance and a problem. Some eventually conclude that the world will be better off without them. This is a lie of the enemy. The Bible is clear. 1 John 4, 9, 10 says, this is how God showed his love among us, that he sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. As we read the story of Leah in the Bible, we can't help but sympathize with her. She was the second sister. The Bible describes her as weak guide. And whether this was referring to her appearance or her ability, we don't know. But we can understand that she couldn't live up to the standard set by her younger sister. Leah had grown up living in the shade of her little sister and now in married life she was living it all over again. She loved Jacob but he didn't love her back. We can feel her heartache. Jacob never really wanted to marry her in the first place but he was tricked into it. And what made things worse, her husband was head over heels in love with her sister Rachel. You can imagine the conversation when Jacob found out. Genesis 29 28 tells her that Jacob kept up the public show for the honeymoon week. But one week later, he married Rachel. Can you imagine going through your honeymoon week with your husband counting down the days to marry your sister? The week of neglect turned into years. Jacob and Rachel made Leah feel like she was always in a way, like they would be better off without her. Leah might have been forgotten and unloved by her family, but she was never forgotten or unloved by God. Leah gave birth to six sons and a daughter. She gave birth to Reuben, the firstborn, to Judah, whose line became the royal family of Israel and Levi, whose line became the priests of Israel. Leah recognized that it was God's favor to her. Look how she named her children. Genesis 29, 32 says, Leah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Reuben and said, It is because the Lord has seen my misery. Surely my husband will love me now. Genesis 29, 33 says, She conceived again. And when she gave birth to a son, she said, Because the Lord has heard that I am not loved, he gave me this one too. So she named him Simon. Genesis 29.34 says, Again she conceived. And when she gave birth to a son, she said, Now at last my husband will become attached to me, because I have given him three sons. So she named him Levi. Genesis 29.35, She conceived again. And when she gave birth to a son, she said, This time I will praise the Lord. So she named him Judah. Then she stopped having children. Unlike Leah, we often fail to see God's hand of favor in our lives when we feel unloved. God knows your heartache, and he loves you dearly. Even if others treat you as second best, God loves you and has a plan to use you and to bless you. Keep your focus on Him and on His love. He loves you so much that He gave His one and only beloved Son to save you. See John 3, 16. Let's pray together. Our oh, Father, we confess that there's many times where we feel abandoned by those we love, where we feel unloved. So often we go out of our way to try and make others love us just to make matters worse. Lord, for those who are listening today, feeling unloved, feeling abandoned. Lord, I just pray that you will surround them by your love and them experience it like they've never experienced it before. And Lord, we do pray that we will give you the praise you deserve even when our hearts are hurting. And we thank you that Leah, as you blessed her with children, she was quickly to give you the praise, recognizing that it was a gift from you. And Lord, you do, in, you do bless us each and every day in so many ways. Help us not be blind to your graciousness, but help us to be abounding in praise, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.